Arc, which is built within Arcadia. So Arcadia is a suite of UGC tools that allow you to build whatever you want to build. Everything you build within Arcadia is called an Arc, okay? Um, so uh, we're in there now. Oh, here we go, yeah. okay. Yeah. So um, this is us now in live gameplay. So obviously you've not seen the game before, so let's just talk a very little bit about just the, the combat as well. I've got a few weapons going to be using, like a pistol, uh, an SMG, uh, and a sniper rifle we're going to be using throughout the course of this as well. Um, now there's a few issues we're going to see. Uh, obviously we're very close to being an alpha, and we're going to talk about that. When is coming, when is coming, don't you worry. Um, uh, but there's a few issues that we're going to see throughout the course of this. Firstly, you can see the mini-map, there's a few uh, tidy moments that are working very hard at the moment. And you can see the enemy health bars are going through as well. Um, but this entire level, everything we're seeing here is actually built in-game using the UGC tools. So, uh, absolutely, uh, you can just build this with a pad, basically. Now, unfortunately, some of the issues you're seeing right now with AI, we're working very hard on that. Uh, you know, obviously, making artificial intelligence, they're kind of artificial idiots at the moment, but uh, we're getting there, we're working really hard on it, it's one of our big priorities right now, but we do want to like that, let that hold us back from, from getting this in the hands of players as soon as possible, as we've always intended to get the feedback that we need to, to you know, get this to the place where it needs to be. But as I'm going through this level, everything you're seeing here, that moving switch there, everything, it was all created in Arcadia. Uh, they're not prefabs, uh, though there are, we've got some elegant ways to allow you to share your creations, um, but this was all built by one person who decided how to make all these things animate and move, the switches and the doors, everything is all bespoke for this particular level, but it can all be shared as well. And we'd love to talk about all of that. We've got so many things to talk about when it comes to Arcadia, so bear with us. And I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> Nadia, can you uh, maybe talk a little bit about what yeah, we're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. And... So the whole goal and objective about this level is that you need to work your way through a factory and kill all of the menacing baddies, <laughs> um, so be careful. And uh, you need to restore the functionality of these water pipes and water processings to get the filtration room up and running again. Um, it is something that you can do Anyway, like you can you can play this level as many times as you want. That's a nice thing um, as well. It's not a level that you are just going to play once and be like, okay, I'm done. The whole idea is we want our community to build levels where you want to play it over and over and over again because you want to beat your previous time. Um, you'll see there at the top of the screen that we've got a timer running and Obviously, you need to beat your personal base. That's the whole idea. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's quite exciting. Yeah. Yeah, so as we come into this room as well, just to point out a few little bits above. So you, you can see, obviously, when it comes to like level design and stuff like that, the key things that really bring a space to life is the lighting and all that kind of stuff. You can set up all custom lighting and things like that, um, all within the control of the player. These moving switches, as I interact with that, you can see the cog coming down. It's, it's turning uh, the gears that are then going to make the pipe come across. All of this was created in-game uh, by one of our content designers. Um, and basically, you know, this is, allows you to kind of do some environmental storytelling as you can really kind of like tell a bit of a narrative within these spaces. You can see you've got custom objectives, uh, there's custom cameras as well, so you can like show the next progression point, things of that mm. nature. Um, oh, let me take out these bad guys. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> uh, I'd be yeah. embarrassed if I died on the stream. <laughs> it would be, a bit. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Okay, so let's try yeah. with this. Something that I love that you mentioned is that this is designed by one of our content designers. Yeah. So it's just something that they were able to just choose a story they wanted to tell, hop into Arcadia, and they just made it happen. Yeah, and the thing is as well, you're probably thinking, how long has this taken this individual to yeah, create it? Yeah. And it would take you about 10 days or so to build something as amazing as this. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all the, the detail yeah. as well, yeah, totally. But um, you can do like a basic block out and just get something together within like a few hours once you get good with the tools. And then obviously as you get more proficient with the tools, you have to do things quicker. Okay, wait a second. I think I've got invincibility enabled, which is a good thing. Thank you, Felix. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, so that is the nice thing, is that you can, if you've never built anything before, you can build something as amazing as this, being a newbie. You, know, yeah. you don't need to know everything about game development. Um, so that is fantastic. You can share it with your friends and play exactly. it together and have a multiplayer one. 
and yeah. you know it's something that you can share with everybody so that's very exciting and you can incorporate all of our gameplay yeah. systems and gameplay mechanics as you can see there's combat there's some platforming uh, there's driving as well and we can use any of our systems however you want to uh, to create unique and interesting gameplay experiences what we're really excited about is just kind of the, the creativity of, of all of you uh, watching the stream basically you know this has been a world we've built for you to uh, shape and mold how you want to to come in the form you're most comfortable have the experiences you want to have don't already exist well, we we'll give you the tools to build yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, and okay, I think that came quite well for some of those tools. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Don't um, worry, I'm I awful at driving. On, well, I prefer to be on a keyboard <laughs> and mouse, and I'm, I'm more of a PC gamer at heart, but uh, it's all right. I don't want to pad. Yeah. This just shows that anybody can do it. Uh, exactly. You know? yeah, yeah. Even, even <laughs> me. If Adam can even do it, me. anyone <laughs> can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the uh, single shot rifle out. Take out these last couple of guys. Here. Nice. Get him. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. But again, you can see as we're kind of coming through the space, um, you know, uh, at the very end here, there's a portal. Okay. Th this is one of the key things everywhere. You're going to find portals throughout the world, um, and we can, we can have portals anywhere connected to anything. You could build a, a nice home environment, uh, and then have a sequence of portals that you've you can connect to all your favorite experiences you can invite your friends over and create an evening's entertainment just through the portals there's going to be portals throughout the game taking into all different types of content content that that we've made content that you've made um and yeah there's gonna be loads of really interesting and exciting kind of secrets and, and discoverables and things like that as well um so again just the things to emphasize this was entirely built within uh, arcadia okay uh, you can build stuff like this or or and i i anticipate people eventually build things much more extravagant than this as well you know oh, yeah and the kind of Love and attention that we see people put into their UGC projects. You know, um, we, we think you're going to build something really, really wonderful. Um, and you know, we really want to be a disruptor in the space with this as well. We want to be very generous to our creator community. We want to really kind of like reward those who, who add value to the platform by creating great content. And ultimately, we see this as your world once we release this, once we get this out to public. And we want to kind of celebrate your, your creations. And, and you know, one of the things we're really excited about is maybe um, someone joins everywhere, as, as an, maybe someone who doesn't really play games before or, yeah, or done game design before. That's the thing. And then they could build something, and then we want to celebrate them and make them a famous game designer. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, so. that would be the dream. <laughs> indeed, indeed, we indeed. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think that's enough gameplay for now. Um, I, but again, 